Right, I am here in Chelmsford. Just let me change the camera. Hello, I am here in Chelmsford. Um, this is an unscheduled broadcast because I came out shopping and I found that there is an anti-fracking um, table here and they're telling people about fracking because there is fracking due in North Essex. Just let me change my camera. Hold on. So if you're in Chelmsford, come down and support the... Uh, there's a petition, there's a film night. Um, do we have the film night? Uh, we've got the film night things? Yes, yes. Okay, we have a film night on uh, Thursday the 24th of April at 7pm at the Friends Meeting House in Rainsford Road, Chelmsford, with free admission. What do you know about fracking in the UK? The truth behind the dash for gas. So everywhere. Oh wow! Welcome, Global Occupy News Network. This is going globally. This is the town. This is Chelmsford. This is the county town of Essex, um, which um, is mostly because of its geology safe from fracking. But there is a part in North Essex where there's a possibility. And of course, we have 60% uh, of the country of the UK. Um, going to be subject to this. So everywhere, every community, everywhere, all over this country needs to rise up and oppose these criminals that are causing our land to be poisoned. So do this in your town. We're organising a film night on the 24th of April at the Friends Meeting House, Rainsford Road in Chelmsford. That's free for people to come along, for people in Chelmsford. We're collecting a petition together. We need to get these criminals that are just serving their own vested interests to realise that the people of the UK will not have this, will not have our water and our air and our land poisoned. This is happening all over the place. If it's not happening in your town, make sure it does. It's not just the fracking, there's, there's two other technologies which are just as bad, the underground coal gasification, where basically they just set fire to the coal rather than digging it out. Deliberately setting an underground fire, doesn't that sound like a really stupid idea to you? It sounds like a very stupid idea to me. And there's the coal bed methane as well, which is um, basically the same as, uh, same as fracking, just extracting the, uh, the methane gas associated with coal seams. This is just a sign of total desperation and greed. These corporations do not want alternative energy. They don't want massive deployments of solar energy and wind energy. Because it's too distributed, there is no central point that they can meet at, that they can suddenly at a whim decide the, the price of everything quadruples, like they've done with gas. The whole point about having central heating and things like that was the gas was very cheap. It was much cheaper than electricity. It isn't now. It's very expensive and will stay expensive and get even more expensive. Well, the thing, the thing is, 
climate climate change is not the same thing as buggering up your environment. <laughs> if, no. whether, whether, whether you believe in climate change or not, it's still a bad idea to bugger up your environment. Yeah. It's over here. <laughs> so this is, we're, we're saying to Essex County Council, please don't approve any fracking activities in Essex. Yeah, they dump everything else, don't they? If they could, they would, yeah. They would yeah. send a strong signal. Well. The thing is, they were trying it in Kent, but the, the council was compromised by the fact that they were caught red-handed by the local paper and that they had investments in the fracking company. So that, that they've gone quiet now about it, but they'll try again. What's really interesting about that, I didn't know that, is because um, uh, the, the licensing application for uh, the um, underground coal gasification, the coal bed methane, is taking place in the Thames Estuary, didn't go through the Essex side, didn't go through the Essex authorities, it went through the Kent authorities. Mm. And I'm not sure of the reason why, and I don't know whether the South End authorities were consulted. And Yes. They were asked about this. Well, the license for that one's already been granted. Well, my, my view of fracking is it's slow motion terrorism, so everyone involved in its support needs to be arrested as an accessory to terrorism. Because what else is it than poisoning our water? It's a terrorist act. You can't describe it in any other way. Well, I think, yeah. Was it Ecuador last year? Um, first enshrined in law, um, environmental terrorism law. Yes, as we need we need a law, a specific law of ecocide that we can put put these people away for a very long time. It needs to be custodial sentences. There's no point in fining anyone that has backers from 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 the big banks and corporations because they just invent the money to pay the fine so it has to be custodial sentences for these people Cameron Osborne Lord Brown all, all the, the, the boards of every company which supports this needs to be sent to prison we're having a film night in a few weeks time come along it's a free film it's the only thing they're going to understand is the life the rest of their life as hard labour the trouble is our, our courts and our system of law is now so degraded by the they're corrupt. Yeah. They're, they're almost as criminal as politicians. Yeah. Well, we, the situation we see up at Barton Moss is the police are totally corrupt and they're arresting people for the most flimsy of reason, but at least the courts are releasing them immediately. To have it, it hasn't got to the point that the courts are as corrupt as the police. And they need to retain their uh, independence. It's very, very important that they need to, 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 to serve the public. Because otherwise they're traitors to the human race. There's no other way to describe it. Whatever happens to uh, government, basically, working for and on behalf of the people. Yeah. Being in, in the people on their own. Yeah. Now, the other way around, the terror laws that can put people away. Yes. And charge secret reports everywhere. Yes. We're having another meeting on the 17th, which is like a dry run for the film night in the same place. So if we're on um, the 17th, Yeah. Uh, 7 p.m. Let's get one of those out. Yeah. Are they mad or just desperate? Decide for yourself. Yeah, frack off. I know all about frack off. Yeah. 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 We need to uh, get these through people's doors, really, because um, they get fed so much um, rubbish by the mainstream media. Yes. Yeah. Need people. Need to raise a bucket. Need to get a bucket out. Start raising the money for for leafleting. By putting on a film show. Yes. We think that tells both sides of the story. Yes. It, they make their own yes. You, you you best have a collection bucket there because that will fund the leafleting. Yeah. Yes. 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 No. Yes. 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 Mm. So yes, so the dry runs the 17th, and uh, the film nights on the 27th. Right. I'm on. You make a point of coming to that. I may be a little bit late, but I'll try and come.
lovely film to you. You too, you too. <laughs> Thanks for staying today. Take care. The F word is a dirty word. Oh, lovely yeah, stickers. Yes, yes I'll have a sticker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're here in Chelmsford. Those who have just joined us, uh, we're going out live to the Global Occupy News Networks. It's going all over the world at the moment. Anything you'd like to say? Fracking's got to be opposed everywhere, hasn't it? It's it's a, it's an e it's a global evil. Yeah. Yeah. The int yeah, they want to keep it keep the details of how terrible this is secret because they just want to line their own pockets. Come back after they've seen the facts. Once you know, yes. you've got handouts. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, a, 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 a nice lady called Tina Louise was at the. Um, yeah, so she said that um, that knowledge about what they're doing with fracking is, is, is like an unwanted gift. You, uh, the only thing you can do with it is give it to other people. <laughs> uh, you can't, you can't unknow what you know once you know that they are, they are do not have your best interests at heart. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she's a fantastic campaigner. She was at the Mothers Against Fracking. Yes, I was there. I was filming there. Fantastic guy. Yes. Fantastic guy. Yeah, that was a decent turnout, that was. And they've got another big event coming up. Yes. Planning events. Yes. Such an Yeah. Right, anyway, I've got to get on and, uh, yeah. Yes, this was an impromptu, unscheduled broadcast. I just happened to be here and feel that even Chelmsford is having an anti-fracking group, which is absolutely great. So, uh, goodbye to viewers. Bye -bye. And if you don't have an anti-fracking group in your place, even if, you, even if you're in an area that isn't, isn't particularly subject to fracking, start one and give solidarity to other people. Yeah, one of our viewers says, well done, Chelmsford. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, right, it's goodbye from me. Bye-bye.